<laughs> Holy moly, this is fast. That's the limiter already. <laughs> What's up ladies and gentlemen and welcome to this POV review by Autotop NL. My name is Max and today we've got one of the most cool viewer car we've had so far and well that's partly because of the car because it is a 2011 Jaguar XFR uh, but it's also partly because Dan the owner from the UK sent us a message well around two hours ago three hours maybe and he said I'm here, I'm at your spot, uh, do you guys want to meet up, do you guys want to drive my car? So we said to him, we'll be there in an hour. Uh, and here we are, the weather is completely shit as you can see, especially with a 510 horsepower rear wheel drive car, but that cannot spoil the fun today because it is such a cool car. And well, today I'm going to show you around it. We'll take it for a drive along this road towards the Autobahn for a very calm, and relaxing autobahn drive i'm not going to call it a blast because it is soaking wet and these dunlop sport max tires on here they're great tires in the dry uh, and they have enough thread but in the wet it's not that much fun obviously um, so we've got a white xfr today with of course an r badge in the grill and some nice hood vents with a supercharged badge on there it's a facelift model as you can see so 2011 was the first year of the facelift with the new headlights which are miles better than the old one the bug-eyed xf um, we also have of course the r front bumper with some more air intakes more aggressive as well and these super cool wheels which have jaguar supercharged written on there and even these bolts have little jaguars on it can you see that that's really cool it has uprated brakes uprated suspension as well um, 510 horsepower supercharged v8 of course five liter some new rear lights as well for the facelift and r badge and of course quad tailpipes with a nice diffuser in black right there uh, but the exhaust actually isn't that loud when you drive it it's really civilized this car and that's one of the things i love most well, to show you guys the engine, I have to be on this side, of course. Right? No, not not right. Is that is that on the left as well? Ooh. Yep. So there it is, five liter V8 supercharged. One of the best V8s ever made. This is such a cool engine and, well, I just love this engine in every car. We drove the XFR uh, about five or six years ago, the red one. I don't know, maybe some of you guys might remember. And we absolutely loved it. So I'm really looking forward to driving this car. So we'll get in on this side, of course. <sighs> freaking cold and wet so on the interior as you can see we've got an R badge right there very cool and I have to say that the interior I mean it has held up nicely over time this car is eight years old looks really good love the wood you guys know I like me some wood leather on the dash Bowers and Wilkins audio this is really beautiful and well it's in great nick as well. So we'll start it up. Of course, we get the gear selector. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Um, well, we're going to drive it carefully, of course, because it's freaking wet. And um, I'll talk to you guys about how it feels, of course. So we'll put it in well, just put it in dynamic mode. It's already in dynamic mode. And we'll put the gearbox in sport. Maybe put the traction control in track DSC, yes. So it allows a little bit more slip because the traction control is pretty invasive, Dan told us. Driving on the right side of the car, of course, is very weird. Oh, what a lovely V8 growl that 
you hear in the distance. It's not as loud as in the XKR, for instance. Woo! <laughs> okay, so there's very little traction at low speed, of course, because this car has a lot of torque as well. So 510 horsepower, but 625 newton meters of torque. So you really feel that from down low. We've got a six speed ZF gearbox that has been reworked for the XFR as well. As I said, the suspension has been reworked for the XFR. And well, we are in dynamic mode, uh, which also stiffens up the dampers. Uh, but I have to say, it still feels really comfortable. If I have this off, do I feel any difference? Yeah, it's maybe a little bit more, it's maybe a little bit softer. So, put that in dynamic mode. And you can feel that the engine is a little bit more aggressive as well, responds a little bit better. But of course, this is the competitor to the Mercedes AMG E63 and the BMW M5 of 2011, of course. So this competes with an F10 M5 and the E63 and of course the R6. It's quite difficult because... Oh, Jesus. Oh, it wants to waggle it still a lot. Um, comparing it to the M5 especially, the M5 of course is like super high strung and, and really aggressive and it has that MDCT gearbox that dual clutch gearbox that that's so aggressive this this feels more like an e63 you know it feels more like muscly and and you have that that thunderous v8 that's thumping away instead of that high strung aggressive character and for an XFR, I mean, I, I think they absolutely nailed it with this car, the character. They also nailed the fact that that exhaust is so quiet. I mean, that's like very civilized. Okay, so we'll get on the Autobahn. I'll turn on the speedo cam, but I don't expect to do anything crazy. Depends on how it feels. Okay, so we're at 120 kilometers an hour, full throttle. Yep, it grips nicely. And it is... Wow, it's actually very fast. Why are you coming? Why are you coming here? Jesus. So here we go. As you can hear, that V8, it's there in the distance, but you don't have a very loud supercharger whine or a loud exhaust. It's just there. It's, it's letting you know it's there and doing its job. Holy moly, this is fast. That's the limiter already. <laughs> what? Wow. Wow, that's actually seriously impressive. So, this is 250. You don't hear anything from yeah you hear the wipers going but this is the limiter 270 i think 270 kilometer an hour in the wet and it's totally fine and i'm in dynamic mode as well the, this chassis is really 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 impressive because it it gives you that amount of comfort that gives you confidence to go over bumps and to you know to give it some beans but you still feel like you're in control. You still feel connected to the car. And that power, that acceleration is absolutely relentless. I actually, it's all coming back to me. 
I need some like flashback music. I think we had the same experience in the XJ Supersport. No, I think maybe it was in the XFR as well that we hit the limiter and we were like, wow, already? So Dan told us, the owner, that you could go for like a dynamic package or something like that um, to give it a race top speed of 280 kilometers an hour. But still, 280, I mean, this, this would go 300 easy. Okay, lower the windows for you. First gear. Yeah. You hear a little bit of a supercharger whine, but... It's very quiet, wow. It's So this is really meant for covering... It's, it's basically an Autobahn cannon. This is basically made for the Autobahn, for high speed, it's quiet, it's comfortable. Turn on your heated steering wheel, which is always lovely. Heated seats as well. Yes, that one. Wow, I'm actually really, really impressed by this car. Because it's eight years old. But it doesn't feel like it. It feels like it is still okay today. It's freaking fast as hell. It sounds good, it looks good, it feels good. It feels like it's new. Dan, thank you so much for contacting us and coming to our spot here in Germany, all the way from the UK. Uh, I absolutely loved meeting you and driving your car. So thanks a lot. Uh, to you guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this quick and dirty little review. Uh, you can subscribe by clicking the big button in the middle. You can also check out this video or go check out this playlist. Bye guys, see you at the next one.